Welcome to this uh, presentation. We're just going to uh, go over some of the technical details of, of Shogun. So my name is Tim Doubleday. I'm the VFX product manager here at Vicon. It's my job to kind of take the Shogun platform and uh, really push it for use within the games and VFX industry. And one of the big uh, kind of things for me is bringing the experience from production. So I've been lucky enough to work at companies like the Imaginarium and Andy Circus to get an understanding of what the uh, requirements are for uh, motion capture users. And one of the big key takeaways is that everything should be done in real time on the set. So you don't want to be kind of slowing down the production in terms of you know calibrating the subjects or getting your actors in. Your production just start on time because you're spending money at the end of the day. So Shogun is split into two bits of software. We've got Shogun Live, which is uh, the software you can see here. We'll uh, reboot you guys. These guys earlier they had on these uh, facial facial cameras. So you can see we've got a whole series of props in, in, in the stage. These can be created beforehand, but we have the ability to kind of change the positions of things. So I don't know if, if, um, if one selects a chair, for example, you can see this is being tracked. So we've actually got a uh, FPX file here that's a physical asset, or not the physical asset, sorry, the virtual asset. <laughs> it's then matched with the, exactly. Um, so it's just one of the examples of things like on a shoot, you don't want to be there kind of building these things. Do it beforehand, do it in real time, and kind of use that as part of your capture process. And then the other thing is, why just take your bow? So I don't know if you guys saw the demo we did at GDC, where Gina was playing um, Siri. So we, uh, GDC, we had a mark on the end of each finger. We called that the 5 uh, ME marker set. Here we've added markers on the second uh, panel here. This helps with uh, calibration and also with, um, with kind of occlusion. So if one of, one of the markers gets hidden, obviously you don't want the whole hand kind of collapsing. So you can see here on the skeleton, if you make a fist, or you can still, you can still maintain those poses within the system. And that's because the, the actual model underneath, the, the skeleton model, is built on a bent marker set. So it's actually 58 markers that we place on the hand. We can then constrain the model to that and then take the markers off and still get plausible um, poses. The uh, thing is, is one part of the problem for us. The other thing is uh, retargeting. So I don't know if you've been to any of the other mocap vendors here, but nobody's doing retargeting in their own software. You know, everyone's going to another another uh, application, whether that's like Cinema or Motion Builder or whatever. Here we're, re we're retargeting directly onto the game skeleton. So thanks to our partnership with Epic Games, and uh, we've, they've given us these kind of free marketplace assets, these are from uh, one of their previous games. We can retarget the skeleton within Shogun. So again, it's all about kind of controlling everything in real time uh, as part of the production. And if one uh, turns on transparency and shows the retargeting skeleton, so you can see underneath, the silver skeleton here is the Vicon skeleton. So obviously we know about that skeleton, we, we can control that skeleton. The pink skeleton is the Unreal skeleton. And uh, we have an ability to basically create a mapping file. And this mapping file contains information between the two skeletons. And we'll quickly switch to that um, program. So here we can see the, the mapping. So this is a, a kind of application for creating the connections between the two skeletons. But we can also do the same connections on the fingers. You can see here, each of these kind of axes, these are constraints. It's copying the rotation from one bone to the other bone. And then we can also do positional targets. So that means if Gina holds the bow, we want the hand and the bow to be in exactly the same place on the characters. So we say in the software, the position here has to be match exactly. Basically, there's, there's no offset. So then we have confidence in the retarget that it's going to be exactly in the same place. You can do here. One of the kind of features we've added for Shogun 1.3 is USD support. I don't know how many of you have used USD in the past or kind of thinking about using it, but it's a kind of way of getting uh, assets and pipelines through through the system. You know, you've got layering in there. You've got lots of different um, types of data that you can store in this file format. For us, it's all about animation. So we're the first motion capture provider to offer USD support 
as an export from our software. We're using USD Scale for this example. And that's really for our relationship with uh, Apple and Pixar. So they came to us and said, you know, guys, you need to get USD into this so that we can get our devices onto an uh, iPad or, you know, using AR Kit, for example. So now we have a USD export from Chobin. And uh, the last kind of part of the puzzle is for us has been able to scale data. So I don't know if you saw the video uh, we have where we captured 35 people at once. You see 35 people, it's a lot of data, it's a lot of markers. Uh, this is all with fingers. And really, you know, a single PC just isn't capable of processing that amount of data. So with Shogun 1.3, we're going to add the ability to scale uh, processes across machines. So for this example, we had a PC doing reconstruction, PC doing labeling, and then a third PC that was doing the um, solving of the skeleton. And then by breaking that down into three different components, it meant that we could capture 35 people um, at once, which is kind of crazy. Look at that. Wow. Your fingers. Your fingers. <laughs> so, you know, normally on a, on a competitive system, that's just going to break, right? The fingers are going to be all janky. Uh, they're going to be swapping. Um, but thanks to this kind of hand model we've got, we can, we can constrain the two poses. Right? So we're really excited uh, to get Shogun into your hands. Uh, so it's coming soon, but if anyone would like to try the software, come up and, uh, and you've got a Viking system, obviously. Uh, come up to us and we can add you to the beta. So it's a closed beta at the minute, but all the features are in there that you see. So the fingers we typed in, um, it's all in there. You know, our partners use the EA have been testing it. Uh, you've stopped have been using it. So yeah, and thanks a lot for your time. We're gonna, we're gonna play us out. <laughs>